Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Loved, protected, and safe, I hope. Tonight, has give, God has given me these scriptures to ease your minds. He knows that last night's message was concerning to a lot of you. This was not meant to worry you. It was his last warning to you to change your ways to his ways. It should have been a comfort to all who do as God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ command of everyone. You should not be living for this life in this sinful world. Rather, you should be living for eternal life in their kingdom in the commands of them to attain this. It should comfort those who believe and worry those who do not, for evil is coming to an end. Romans 1, 14, 16, and 17. Love obligates me to preach to everyone, to those who are among the elite and to those who are among the outcasts, to those who are wise and educated, as well as to those who are foolish and unlearned. I refuse to be ashamed of God of, of the wonderful message of God's liberating power unleashed in us through Christ. For I am thrilled to preach that everyone who believes is saved, the, fir the Jew first, and then people everywhere. This gospel unveils a continual revelation of God's righteousness, a perfect righteousness given to us when we believe, and it moves us from receiving life through faith to the power of living by faith. This is what the scripture means when it says, We are right with God through life-giving faith. My love for God, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, His children, their kingdom, and God's commands to me for His kingdom obligate me to spread their gospel to everyone. Whether they listen or not is not my part in this. However, I take great joy in all who come to God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for salvation. You are not given eternal life for believing, but through living in their righteous commands, faith, and trust in them. Isaiah 46.10 I declare the end from the beginning, and from long ago what is not yet done, saying, My plan will take place, and I will do all my will. God has declared to everyone that the end is now, his plan is taking place, and his will will be done. Proverbs 3.5-8 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways know him, and he will make your paths straight. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will be healing for your body and strengthening for your bones. Only with complete trust and faith in our Lord, not relying on what you think you know, he will make your path straight to them in their kingdom. Do not think that you can do as you want. Rather, turn away from all that is detestable to them. You shall be healed and strengthened in them. Hebrews 11, 35 and 36. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Other people were tortured, not accepting release, so that they might gain a better resurrection. Others experienced mockings and scourgings, as well as bonds and imprisonment. Many have been tortured, mocked, imprisoned, and have died, accepting the sinful way out, not accepting the sinful way out in order to receive the gift of eternal life in their kingdom. Stay strong, be courageous till the end, walking in righteous faith and trust in them. Isaiah 41, 13. For I am the Lord your God who holds your right hand, who says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Never let yourself be in fear of Satan and his workers in this world. God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior will help you. Holding your hand through it all. Keep your faith and trust in their promise to you. Timothy, 2 Timothy 4, 5 through 8. But as for you, exercise self-control in everything, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time for my departure is close. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. There is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge will give me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who have loved his appearing. You must do these things, and for enduring until the end, you will receive their crown of righteousness in eternal life in their kingdom. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Stop following what the world is doing as it is evil. Be transformed by them in renewal of your thinking, actions, words, and ways of living. In this you will learn to discern good from evil and the perfect will of God. Ephesians 4.22-27 
take off your former way of life, the old self that is corrupted by deceitful desires, to be renewed in your in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, the one created according to God's likeness in righteousness and purity of truth. Therefore, putting away lying, speak the truth, each one to his neighbor, because we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Don't let the sun go down on your anger and don't give the devil an opportunity. We've all been corrupted by the evil ways of this world, so we must die to these detestable practices. Be reborn in the Holy Spirit. Live according to God's likeness in righteousness and purity of the truth of God in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Stop living a deceitful, lying life of sin. Do not give in to these things which give Satan an opportunity to gain your souls again. Romans 1, 18-20 for God in heaven unveils his holy anger, breaking forth against every form of sin, both toward ungodliness that lives in the hearts and evil actions. For the wickedness of humanity deliberately smothers the truth and keeps people from acknowledging the truth about God. In reality, the truth of God is known instinctively, for God has embedded this knowledge inside every human heart. Opposition to truth cannot be excused on the basis of ignorance. Because from the creation of the world, the invisible qualities of God's nature have been made visible, such as his eternal power and transcendence. He has made his wonderful attributes easily perceived, for seeing the visible makes us understand the invisible. So then, this leaves everyone without an excuse. God does not hold back his justice for anything evil, both in actions and in one's heart. Everyone knows the truth of God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not one person will have an excuse on the day of their judgment. Romans 1, 28 through 32 And because they thought it was worthless to embrace the true knowledge of God, God gave them over to a worthless mindset to break all rules of proper conduct. Their sinful lives became full of every kind of evil, wicked schemes, greed, and cruelty. Their hearts overflowed with jealous cravings and with conflict and strife, which drove them into hateful arguments and murder. They are deceitful liars full of hostility. They are, are gossips who love to spread malicious slander. With inflated egos, they hurl hateful insults at God, yet they are nothing more than arrogant boasters. They are rebels against their parents and totally immoral. They are senseless, faithless, ruthless, heartless, and completely merciless. Although they are fully aware of God's laws and proper order, and knowing that those who do all these things deserve to die, yet they still go headlong into darkness, encouraging others to do the same and applauding them when they do. Those who live against their truth believe this to be worthless for their lives, and as such have been given over to Satan and his sinful ways. Every kind of evil lives in these people, even though they know the truth. They bring others down with them into Satan's darkness, reveling in this. Romans 2, 1-13 through and 16 No matter who you are, before you judge the wickedness of others, you had better remember this. You are also without excuse, for you too are guilty of the same kind of things. When you judge others and then do the same things they do, you condemn yourself. We know that God's judgment falls upon those who practice these things. God is always right because he has all the facts. And no matter who you think you are, when you judge others who do these things and then do the same things yourself, what makes you think that you will escape God's judgment? Do, you, do the riches of his extraordinary kindness make you take him for granted and despise him? Haven't you experienced how kind and understanding he has been to you? Don't mistake his tolerance for acceptance. Do you realize that all the wealth of his extravagant kindness is meant to melt your heart and lead you into repentance? But because of your calloused heart and refusal to change direction, you are piling up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment is revealed. For he will give to each one in return for what he has done. For those living a constant goodness and doing what pleases him, seeking an unfading glory, and honor and imperishable virtue will experience eternal life. But those governed by selfishness and self-promotion, whose hearts are unresponsive to God's truth and would rather embrace unrighteousness, will experience the fullness of wrath. Anyone who does evil can expect tribulation and distress to the Jew first and also to the non-Jew. But when we do what pleases God, we can expect unfading glory, true honor, and a continual peace to the Jew first and also to the non-Jew, for God sees us all without partiality. When people who have never been exposed to the laws of Moses commit sin, 
they will still perish for what they do. And those who are under the law of Moses and fail to obey it are condemned by the law. For it's not merely knowing the law that makes you right with God, but doing all that the law says that will cause God to pronounce you innocent. So this judgment will be revealed on the day when God, through Jesus the Messiah, judges the hidden secrets of people's hearts. And their response to my gospel will be the standard of judgment used in that day. Do not sit in judgment of those who are wicked if you are doing wickedness yourself. If you do, you will be condemned as well for your slanderous judgment of those you act like. Realize that his kindness and understanding have allowed the very breath you are taking right now. His gift to you of another day to get right with him is his gift to you for eternal life. Do not take him or his gifts to you for granted. Do not hate him. Do not mistake his tolerance for your detestable practices, for his acceptance of them. This is only meant to turn you away from this evil way of living, Ask for, asking for forgiveness, and live your life in their righteous ways. Those who keep sinning willfully only add to the wrath of God coming to them on the day of judgment. Those who obey and live in the laws of God shall see eternal life in their kingdom. Psalms 143, 3-6 through six. My enemies have chased and caught me and crushed my life into dust. Now I'm living in the darkness of death's shadow. My inner being is in depression and my heart is heavy, dazed and despair. I remember the glorious miracles of days gone by, and I often think of all the wonders of old. Now I'm reaching out to you, thirsting for you like the dry, cracked ground thirst for rain. Your enemies will catch you and grind your life into dust, lest you reach out to God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Psalm 66:13. I come before your presence with my sacrifice. I'll give you all that I've promised, everything I have. You must give everything of yourself to them, sacrificing your life in the sinful world to them, to be freed by them. Psalms 139, 13 and 14. For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wondrously made. Your works are wondrous, and I know this very well. So give them all the praise and glory, for God created you in his image to become like them. Psalms 144, 1 and 2. There is only one strong, safe, and secure place for me. It is in God alone who gives me strength for the battle. He is my shelter of love and my fortress of faith, who wraps himself around me as a secure shield. I hide myself in this one who subdues enemies before me. The only safe place is in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They alone can give you the strength to defeat Satan, shelter you from your enemies. True love, faith, and shield of protection come from them alone. Hide yourself in them to be delivered from your enemies by them alone. Psalms 14.2 Yahweh looks down in love, looking over all of Adam's sons and daughters. He's looking to see if there's anyone who acts wisely, any who are searching for God and wanting to please him. Song of Songs 8.5 Who is this one? She arises out of her desert, clinging to her beloved. When I awakened you under the apple tree as you were feasting upon me, I awakened your innermost being with the travail of birth as you longed for more of me. God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ know when you are truly seeking them. When they see this, they have awakened you to their truth of which you now live for, having rebirthed you in them. Proverbs 2.1-5 my child, will you treasure my wisdom? Then and only then will you acquire it. And only if you accept my advice and hide it within you will you succeed. So train your heart to listen when I speak and open your spirit wide to expand your discernment. Then pass it on to your sons and daughters. Yes, cry out for comprehension and intercede for insight. For if you keep seeking it like a man would seek for sterling silver, searching in hidden places for cherished treasure, and then you will discover the fear of the Lord and find the true knowledge of God. Only when you truly live for them will they give you everything of themselves. You must listen to your thoughts and discern if they are from God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, or Satan. If it is negative, sinful, or self-serving, it is not God. Ask for the clarity until you find their truth. Dig as deep as you must and you will realize the fear of being without our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in God. The truth of living in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 4-9 Rejoice in the Lord always. 
I will say it again, rejoice. Let your graciousness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any moral excellence and if there is anything praiseworthy, dwell on these things. Do what you have learned and received and heard from me and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Always rejoice in them, good or bad, as it all works for their good and glory. They are indeed near, but do not be worried about anything. Always stay in prayer, asking for everything you need from them, thankful for what they have given you. They will fill you with their peace in all things, which will guard your hearts and minds from all troubles. Think on all righteous things from them, and do what you have learned, heard, and seen from them, and their peace will always be with you. Psalms 85.8 now I'll listen carefully for your voice and wait to hear whatever you say. Let me hear your promise of peace, the message every one of your godly lovers longs to hear. Don't let us, in our ignorance, turn back from following you. So carefully listen to their voices, which guide your paths to them, and pray for their clarity, so you do not turn back to Satan's sinful ways of eternal damnation in hell. Jude 120-25 but you, dear friends, as you build yourselves up in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting expectantly for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life. Have mercy on those who waver. Save others by snatching them from the fire. Have mercy on others, but with fear, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Now to him who is able to protect you from stumbling and to make you stand in the presence of his glory without blemish and with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Amen. As you build your faith and trust in them, pray in the Holy Spirit. Live your life in the Holy Spirit's guidance with the love of God until the day of mercy from Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, for eternal life in their kingdom. Be kind to everyone, no matter what they have done to you. Bring others to the truth of God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hate all things of the sinful flesh. Give all praise and glory to God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who have power and authority over all things from the beginning to the end. Amen. Romans 8, 26-28 In the same way, the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses, because we do not know what to pray for as we should. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with the inexpressible groanings, and he, re he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. <laughs> the Holy Spirit helps us through everything, interceding on our behalf in our weaknesses and prayer for all who do not know how or what to pray for. God knows the hearts of all, and the Holy Spirit from them is the Spirit of God and works in the will of God. Know that all things work together for the good and glory of God for those who love him and have been called by him. Isaiah thirty twenty one. And whenever you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear this command behind you. This is the way. Walk in it. When you fall off their path, you will hear them telling you which way you should go to get back on it. Psalms 119, 1-4 You're only truly happy when you walk in total integrity, walking in the light of God's word. What joy overwhelms everyone who keeps the ways of God, those who seek him as their heart's passion. They'll never do what's wrong, but will always choose the paths of the Lord. God has prescribed the right way to live, obeying his laws with all our hearts. You can only truly be happy and content when you're leaving, living completely within their will for your life. Those who do will experience an unexplainable, unmatched joy from them by living their lives in accordance with their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth. You will choose to live in their righteous path, obeying them with all your heart. Psalms 34, 8-10 Drink deeply of the pleasures of this God. Experience for yourself the joyous mercies he gives to all 
who turn to hide themselves in him, worship in awe and wonder, all who, all you who've been made holy. For all who fear him will feast with plenty. Even the strong and the wealthy grow weak and hungry. But those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack anything good. Take pleasure in the gifts of God in this life. Worship God in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, giving praise and glory to them for their mercies given to us. No one who lives completely for God in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will lack anything good from them. Remember, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth, trust, steadfastness, faithfulness, forgiveness, salvation, favor, anointing, strength, endurance, clarity, courage, and everything good of them be with you, always guiding you through. Have a blessed night in God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I love you all, and I'll see you later.